Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of March general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So I want to say this before I forget, because you guys know I'll get to run in my mouth and I'll forget. Today I'm doing a discount reading sale for today's new moon. So if you would like to participate in that discounted price, go ahead and click the link in the description box below, the Etsy link. Um, follow the prompt things, because this sale will end at midnight. The price will go back to full price at midnight, okay? So I put it out there. I'll let you guys know. And so it is, okay? So for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, a song that I got was Really Loved by D'Angelo. D'Angelo happens to be an Aquarius, so you could be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and a visual, or somebody that you met in Aquarius season. There also could have been an ending in Aquarius season, January and February time frame. I feel like it plays out different for both. So if there was an ending with someone in um, Aquarius season, I feel like this person still is very much in love with you. Okay, that's I'm just getting that for sure. Um, if you started dating someone or connected with someone on a romantic level in Aquarius season, I feel like this person already is like, I'm in love with this person. I, I am in love already. And if you think about it, January, February was not that long, right? Because we're only in March right now. So I feel like someone already feels like they are deeply in love with you. Like they feel like you are the one. If you are completely single, you may be meeting someone who has those placements, strong Aquarius or Pisces. I'm hearing Pisces also. Aquarius or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placements in their chart. Okay, some of you guys met someone in Pisces season or you'll be meeting someone before and I'm getting like the very last day of Pisces season, the very last day. I'm getting that also. So let's go ahead and change cards from the top to the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck. And then we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the death card. We'll get the card comes before, cards co card comes before and after. We'll get clarifiers, right? Right? How are y'all feeling with this new moon today? You guys know I always like to ask the water signs. Like, everyone is affected differently. But the water signs, I be want to know if you feel like your intuition is more heightened during this time. I always be fussing at my people's, like, my tribe. When I do readings for water signs, I'm like, now y'all know. Y'all tapped in probably sometimes the most. What, what y'all be doing? Do y'all be using that, that mojo, that juice? You know, to get downloads and help further yourself. I want to know in the comment section. Seriously, you guys know I read it. I want to know how this new moon has been making you feel. Like, have you been having very vivid dreams? I always do. I'm a progressed son, and my progressed son is in cancer, so I'm always, well, I'm always tapped in anyway, but <laughs> right now, and, and my progressed moon is in Scorpio right now, and I've noticed, like, a lot of Scorpios are, like, connecting with me on a deeper level, so I, I, I feel it. I feel everything. The moon phases are very, very profound for me, so I want you guys to share in the um, comment section, like, what's going on with you right now? I'm going to tell you what is going on. Something's coming in. Hey, the wands, I always tell you guys, when I see this, I see like an arrow being pulled back and then the wands being released. It's like Cupid's arrow. I'm telling you, somebody's in love with you already. And they'll follow you to the end of the world. For some reason, just looking at these sheep here is making me think, you know how they sheep, they follow the herd, they follow each other. There's somebody will follow you literally to the end of the world. With no explanation whatsoever, source, communication, and mental, like you ain't even got to tell them why. Whatever you say goes, like this person trusts you indefinitely. Without the shadow of a doubt. As soon as I parted. You guys got love coming in. Wow. So someone is so smitten with you. Just taking with you already. That's very powerful. Aquarius energy. Something happened in Aquarius season. Or again, Aquarius sun moon rising Venus individuals. Someone has an Aquarius sun. Huh. Bottom of the deck. Hair fine. Marriage. Long term union. Um, traditional relationships. Taurus. Now, if you're single, you haven't met anyone, this person may be coming in in Taurus season. Taurus season is April, May time frame. This person believes in marriage and union. They're not, this is like someone who's not here to play games. Again, name of songs really love. They're like, they're not here to leave you out in the cold. This person wants the real deal. Definitely could be dealing with a, um, the hair fine is a V, which is five, and then you have five pentacles. Could be a May. Taurus that you're going to meet or you're going to meet this person in Taurus season in May. If you're completely single and there's no one in the picture right now. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. This is going to happen soon. <laughs> I didn't even get that far. And it's interesting was I'm not just talking about the new moon sale and then you got the moon right behind you. 
right in front of you. You have the chariot. You have nothing but major arcana surrounding you right now in your energy. You don't even see it coming. Somebody coming towards you. You ain't even know it. You guys got somebody coming towards you. Chariot energy right here. Cancerian and Pisces. And again, didn't I say some of you guys will meet somebody. This person will come into your life on the very last day of Pisces season. Or somebody's going to reach out and express interest. This is powerful. Very powerful. You got the moon. You got the chariot. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody is coming towards you. Someone here drives for a living. Truck driving. Uber. Lyft, or somebody's thinking about it, is it, you know, you're hearing Lyft, like it doesn't have to be specific Lyft, but I'm thinking like, you know, um, something like that because this crab is being lifted out of the water by chains. That's what I'm saying. I feel like someone doesn't want to do it, but they kind of feel like financially they have to do it. Some of you guys may meet somebody and they're your Uber driver and it's like, ooh, sparks get the flying. Interesting. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, the Empress. I'm trying to tell y'all. Libra Taurus energy. You got Taurus again. Remember, we had the hair five. That was Taurus. Five Pentacles Taurus. I'm on, let me see. Are you guys looking at this energy? Shit, this is nice. This is some nice. Why my reading don't look like this? <laughs> so you got Leo. You got Libra Taurus. Really love you. Okay, this person loves you. They want marriage and long-term commitment. They you something about you just makes them happy. You can't see the sun like this and don't feel happy. Look at that baby. Happy as hell. Somebody may end up getting pregnant. Did I say someone's son could be an Aquarius? You you actually have the sun, not an actual like male son, but um somebody's son. And if you think about it, the Empress is quite fertile, also somebody may end up getting pregnant very soon. Okay. Someone's birthday has a three in it, the third, 13th, 23rd, 30th, 31st. Someone could be a life path for a personal year three. And again, I'm going to say somebody has strong Aquarius in their chart. Could be an Aquarius rising. If you notice, her crown is stars and the star card in tarot is Aquarius. So let's go ahead and get clarifiers. And you got blockages here. So there, or there were blockages in your love life. When the cards don't go in, it's some type of blockage. Some of you guys also could be dealing with some daters, PTSD, like somebody can come out and tell you like they're in love with you and you're like, mm-mm, too soon, which for somebody it could be too soon, right? But it may not be too soon just because you feel like the timing, it could be too soon because right now you're not really ready to be in love with someone or vice versa. Hmm. Getting a couple messages with that also. Bottom of the deck, you got the moon <laughs> twice. Wow. So some of you guys, I'm telling you, something could definitely have already started with someone in Pisces season. Like, if you met someone in Pisces season, this person's already telling you, like, I love you. Things like that. Like, it, it may be creeping you out a little bit. And um, if you didn't meet them yet, I'm telling you, I keep getting, and I said this, the very last day, the very last day of Pisces season, this person may come along your path. Interesting. Let's get a clarifier for the chariot. And I just want you, okay, it could definitely be a fellow water sign. You got nothing but water here. And they're all major arcanas. So, yeah, this person could be a fellow water sign. You got literally all the major arcanas for all the water signs. Mm-hmm. Can't spices and Scorpio. Look, you have the death card reverse. Scorpio, that's you. You have the empress, yeah. I'm telling you, somebody's in love. Some of you guys are not, like, wanting to be vulnerable like that. You don't want to be all consumed. Let's get a clarifier for the chariot. Cancerian energy. Someone has a bronze, gold, or tan car. Okay. Somebody's coming towards you. Two of wands need to choose a destination or a direction to go in. They're coming towards you. I know that because you got the chariot going to some, some some type of destination, as is this energy. Nine of swords, of thunder and sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. Rest assured, because see, he's he's having a hard, he or she is having a hard time resting. In reverse, you can rest assured, love is coming towards you. Love is coming towards you. Eight of wands in reverse, some of you guys fear like you're never going to have love because you don't see it yet, but man... And that would just only apply to those of you that this scenario where, you know, meeting someone and dating someone right now doesn't apply to you. You you definitely got somebody coming in. I just heard Gemini also. And it, it could be a Gemini person or a Gemini season. Gemini season is May, June. I'm thinking about that Five of Pentacles um, Gemini season starts in May. 
So this person could be a Taurus Gemini cusper if it's a person, or as you're transitioning into a Gemini season, you could be meeting somebody as well. Let's get a clarifier for the moon. Clarifier for the moon for Scorpio. Okay, some rising Venus. Yeah, some of you guys don't like vulnerability. <laughs> You do not like vulnerability. I feel like this would be you. Male or female, you don't like vulnerability. Um, but here's the thing. That's what it's all about. The moon is your emotions and feelings. Some, I feel like there's like... A relationship may have ended in the past. That ship is in the past. A relationship may have ended in the past because maybe you weren't being vulnerable. You didn't. You weren't very vocal about how you feel. But it's like deep down you, you love someone. And that's for some of you guys, or like I said, because you have all water here, if this is not you who's acting like that, if, especially if you were dealing with a fellow water sign or a fire sign, I feel like this person is going to be, they're deciding to leave behind some ways that's like emotional manipulation or being emotionally aloof. They're going to leave that behind and they're going to decide to come towards you and express how they feel. And for those of you who are already dealing with someone this person's like, look, I want to move forward with you. I see my, you're like my whole world. I see myself move forward with you. And you're like, oh, slow down. I'm not ready for that right now. So I'm getting multiple messages with that. Of course, you have to put it where it applies. But somebody has the feels for you like real, real strong. Real strong. Somebody also is caught up between two different people. Also, I'm looking at these two wolves here. And then the crab is like right in the middle. Okay. So I'm getting that also. There could be a there could definitely be a Cancerian somehow in the mix of a situation of a love based relationship or a love based situation. I'm getting also somebody may be having a hard time choosing between two people. Also, <clears throat> is what I'm getting. Hmm. Okay. So Scorpio, some rising and Venus individuals. As always, I'm gonna ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.